a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Emilio Villarol. Uh, I had product marketing and operations at Chime. I'm a marketing expert with close to a decade experience in marketing with about two years specifically in the real estate vertical and helping agents succeed via digital advertising. I'm responsible for bringing Google partner status to Chime and hold various certifications in digital advertising and have a strong background in SEO, SEM, content marketing, and more. And as for Chime, Chime is a real estate sales and marketing empowerment solution suite. Uh, through our responsive CRM, intelligent IDX sites, and expertly managed lead generation and other offerings, we help agents and teams of all sizes succeed. So let's jump into it. We're talking about online lead generation. And typically when I discuss online lead generation with real estate agents, I get met with essentially a groan and one of three responses. Well, you know, when I, when I try online lead generation, when I tried it out, I got leads that were just browsing or, you know, maybe the contact information wasn't there or I just couldn't get a hold of them or, yeah, they said they were interested, but they were, you know, looky loos and not really looking to buy until six, eight, 12 months down the line. And in response to that, a lot of real estate agents will then go ahead and turn to these third party lead providers. So you're talking about the Zillow's and Trulia's and Redfin's and Realtor.com uh, and more. And effectively, what you can see here is that they're doing the exact same thing. All of these third party lead providers are still advertising on Facebook and Google. So they're essentially not only in existence, but also thriving based off of you paying them your marketing budget to advertise for themselves. And what I mean by that is that instead of over here, you know, where you see Zillow and Truly and et cetera, instead of seeing your name and your face and your you know, real estate agent or, or brokerage, you're instead advertising for a different company. And on top of that, when they do get those leads that come in, they end up becoming shared leads and they share them with your local competition. So let's take a look at the platforms across the board. When you're dealing with Facebook, uh, typically what you're going to see is the largest number of leads. However, you'll see that the largest percentage of them tend to be the ones which we'll go ahead and for lack of a better phrase, say low quality. Maybe they're ones that are just looking or not so interested, or maybe you know, you're know you not really quite sure if they're gonna pan out, so you don't wanna spend a lot of time on them. With Google AdWords, uh, you're advertising based off of intent. So typically you do see more leads which are interested. However, you do tend to see a more expensive lead and then as such, you tend to get fewer leads. And then with third-party leads, what you tend to see is that you end up with a more expensive cost per lead than both other platforms. However, you tend to find that a higher percentage of them uh, are interested in moving forward with the transaction. However, as we demonstrated earlier, you're essentially marketing to the same audience. You're doing the exact same thing. So why pay more for less leads? Well, for some, they might say, well, because I don't have the time to go ahead and deal with all these people who are, you know, maybe just looking or who aren't really sure what time frame they're looking for. And that's where the importance of having an automated system comes into play, not only for interacting with those leads, but also nurturing them online so that you can encourage them to shorten that window from contact to close. So the advantage of top of funnel advertising, rather than advertising at the bottom of the funnel, rather than paying these third party providers to give you the leads that they've already filtered out, you wanna go ahead and start from the top. Now, what that means is that yes, you are going to have a higher percentage, which maybe aren't immediately interested, but you're going to have a lot of benefits. The least of being more leads for a cheaper cost per lead. In addition, you're going to have lead exclusivity. So with Chime, the way that we advertise, and if you were to go ahead and run these advertisements on your own, of course, these are going to be exclusive leads. These aren't leads which we're going to share to three different agents and wait for the first one to contact and so forth. These are leads which are going to towards you for you any of the advertisements are branded with your name or your team or your brokerage on it and you're not only getting the lead but you're also getting the benefit of anytime someone sees that advertisement your team or your agent's name is then becoming top of mind and as such they're going to remember you better on top of that these are non-harassed leads uh, when you're dealing with the fact that everyone's preaching speed to lead and you have multiple agents which can contact the same lead you may end up with a lead that within the span of 30 minutes, they've gotten six phone calls, two texts, and an email as a best case scenario. When you're dealing with leads that are exclusive to you, well, you have the benefit of being the only one that's talking to them, assuming they haven't registered elsewhere. And because of the fact that 
um, research shows that something like 70% of leads will go ahead with the first agent they speak with. So long as you do have a system in place to make sure that you're being notified and that you can contact those leads as soon as they input that information, chances are you're gonna be the only agent that they speak with and the one they end up working with on the road. And finally, and I cannot stress this enough, rich lead information. There's so much information and so much data that you get when you end up running the advertisements uh, from the top of the funnel that you don't get from these third-party lead providers. And this information is key and can be used for retargeting, um, targeted follow-ups, and more. So a big assumption. The idea that if you're doing the, the you know, if you're following best practices and doing advertising the right way, then all things are equal uh, is kind of asking a lot. And I say that because in my experience, most advertisers um, oftentimes are missing the mark when it comes to the best practices. And largely this reflects the fact that this landscape is constantly changing, constantly shifting week over week, month over month. Here's some of the things that we do in order to differentiate us and drive more traffic to you at a lower price. One, uh, Google partner ads proficiency. The other being we have our sites that are not only playing well with Google, but they're specifically designed so that when we run our Google ads, Google understands those advertisements well and will respond favorably to them. More on that later. We offer Facebook's Dynamic Ads for Real Estate, which is an exciting new advertising offering, advertising placement that I'm more than happy to discuss in a little bit. Cross-channel remarketing. Um, regardless of whether your leads are coming from Facebook or they're coming from Google, or even if they're coming from a third party, uh, or let's say, for example, you just happen to upload a list of your sphere, we can go ahead and do, and do remarketing to those leads. And finally, we have an integrated automated nurturing system with Chime. Now, the importance of this is not only when you're dealing with the offline interactions via you know, uh, texting and calling, but this actually has a very, very significant portion or significant impact in the way that we run our advertisements, uh, which I'm very excited to explain to you guys in a little bit. Google at a glance. So uh, Chime is a certified Google partner, which means that we've proven to Google that we are experts at using the AdWords ad platform and have demonstrated success month over month in advertising. In addition to that, um, to, to dig a little bit under the hood and to talk about Google and to talk about how Google runs their ads, essentially one thing you need to understand is that uh, these big companies like Facebook and Google, well, they care a lot about staying on top. And if you think about Google and you think back on the history of Google, well, they essentially came into power or came into popularity because of the fact that they took advantage of offering a better search experience than what Yahoo offered. Yahoo was cl cluttered and full of ads and wasn't giving people what they were looking for. Then they came to Google because it was a simpler, better experience. Google doesn't have a short memory. They're very cognizant of this. And because of that, they wanna make sure that they deliver the best possible search experience that they can for their searchers. And one, that plays into the organic side, but it plays into the paid side as well. And one factor of that in determining where your advertisement is going to be, whether it be buried in you know, page eight at the bottom or all the way at the top of page one, is dependent upon something called quality score. So when you're dealing with these ads, yes, you can bid and yes, you can throw more money at it to try and push it up higher to the top. But what Google really cares about is the overall ecosystem. And that means making sure that overall, most people are finding exactly what they're looking for. So they're going to make it easier to, find, to get the top when it feels that your content matches what people are looking for. And with that, there's essentially two sides. One, the soft side, which is kind of going into the keywords that we go for, as well as the advertisements and the way that we write them. And also the landing page, which um, the wording that we use on it, but also on the back end and the technical side and making sure that all of the data is written in a way that Google can easily understand so that every piece along that process, Google feels, okay, these guys are, are offering exactly what they say. When someone is searching for you know, a home in Austin, Texas for 250K, and those are the keywords that they're bidding for. When someone searches for that, that's the first ad that's gonna pop up. When they click on that ad, it's gonna say what they're looking for. And when they get on that landing page, meaning the property page, it's gonna be properties which are Again, matching 250K in the Austin area. They pay attention to the entire process to make sure it's good for the searcher. And at that point, they reward the advertiser, us, by giving us a lower cost per lead. Another thing that we offer is retargeting. Um, and again, going into that, we offer retargeting all across the board. So we can 
you know, on the Google side, uh, we can take it so that if you have a specific list of people, ideally a pretty robust or large list, we can go ahead and push the ad so that way uh, they have a higher likelihood of seeing them than the average searcher. Um, and then we can also take it so that if we do have leads coming back from there, we can go ahead and remarket in our other platforms as well. And another thing that we're excited to talk about is dynamic ads. Now, this isn't to be confused with the uh, dynamic ads for real estate, which is a Facebook offering. Google offers dynamic search ads, uh, which effectively allows them to put the ads together for you based off of some predefined rules and settings. And it's a pretty exciting offering. Um, however, it's one that we haven't quite rolled out yet, just due to the fact that while we have seen some promise in some areas, uh, because of the fact that Google is putting it together for you, and because of the fact that you don't have as much control of the process, we need to make sure we really dial in to get those um, you know, initial setup uh, settings just the way we want them to where we feel comfortable rolling that out on a nationwide scale and making sure it's going to be a benefit for all of our agents. 